Hi DIY friends! I have my little helper here with me today uh, because we have a repairman in our kitchen right now fixing our refrigerator and if you follow me on Instagram you've already heard that whole story but if you aren't following me on Instagram definitely head over you'll see some more like personal things I guess over there definitely a lot more of honey um, so make sure to click the link that I'll have in the description box or you can find me at the daily DIYer on Instagram so anyway that is why she is out here working with me today and today we are gonna be crafting with mason jars which is one of my favorite favorite things to craft and DIY and hack and I'm also super excited because Dollar Tree now is carrying the larger size so they've carried the pint size for quite a while and now they're actually carrying the quart size so that means even more fun projects to make before we get started, I want to say hello and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Shannon from thedailydiywire.com. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you here today to craft some mason jars. I also want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Now let's dive into the very first Christmas mason jar idea. So here's why I like shopping at Dollar Tree for my mason jars. First of all, you can buy them individually. A lot of times on the shelves, you're gonna find big packs of a dozen mason jars and we don't always need that many. They're also at a great price. And as you can see, now we have the options and sizes of jars, so loving that. Now for our first project, we're gonna make a snowy winter scene with the help of these Dollar Tree wood cutouts. We're just gonna be using the trees and the little house from this set. Go ahead, take those out. We're gonna paint those with some white chalk paint. One coat is just plenty for these. I love chalk paint because it dries super quick too. And while those are drying, we're actually gonna add some styrofoam to the inside of this larger sized quart mason jar. And now I'm actually using a pool noodle knife from Dollar Tree to cut up this styrofoam cone. We just need to cut a good chunk out of the center of it. We need it small enough that it's gonna fit through the opening of the top of the mason jar. Add some hot glue on the bottom and then tap it to the bottom of the mason jar. And I just used my knife to kind of help the glue set up and push the styrofoam to the bottom so it was secure. Now we need to cut up our little wood pieces because we need them to fit through the top of the jar as well. So I'm using some tin snips here. If you don't have these in your craft stash, you absolutely need them. It will save your nice scissors for a long time. Instead, you can use these. They're only $5 at Walmart and I will link them down in the description box below. If you have any smaller wood pieces to cut, those tin snips are a lifesaver. So now that our pieces are all cut up, we're gonna add some hot glue to the bottom edge and the glue is gonna help kind of melt into the styrofoam and also kind of make a little space for our wood pieces to stand up. So just layered them, put the trees in the back and the little house in the front. And now we need some snow. So go ahead, grab some Epsom salt from the Dollar Tree and just shake that into the bottom of your jar. Now we're gonna make this even more whimsical and wintry with this really cool mason jar fairy light solar light lid. I'd never seen these before. They popped up on my Amazon one day. I wanted to give them a try. So I will link them down in the description box below for you. Um, and all you have to do is just kind of feed your little fairy lights into the jar randomly and put the lid on top. So of course you're gonna wanna charge this during the day in the sun, in the windowsill, and then at nighttime they will pop on for you. So fun, saves you having to go over to turn them off and on. But if you can't find these um, on Amazon, you can also just grab fairy lights from Dollar Tree and use them too. But I thought this was a fun little take on them. So cute during the day and at night. Some of you already know I absolutely love playing June's Journey. I've been playing for a while now, but for those of you who have never tried it, it is super fun and it's so easy to play. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game set back in the glamorous 1920s. You're given different scenes to find hidden objects, and as you pass the different levels, you unlock more information on the evolving and thrilling murder mystery storyline. The beautiful and colorful scenes will pull you into that time period, and it's fun to watch this story unfold. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but you can get into this awesome free game too. All you have to do is download June's Journey for free by clicking on the link below in the description box, or you can scan the QR code on screen. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as PC through Facebook games. 
So go ahead, take one second, download this game and get in on the fun too. Now back to our mason jar Christmas ideas. These neat ornament fillers are new to Dollar Tree this year and I thought it would be the perfect addition to this bucket list mason jar project. We're gonna grab some wood shapes. I thought these gingerbread men were kind of big enough for the project that we're gonna be making. And you can also find these smaller size mason jars at Dollar Tree during the different holidays. This one has cute uh, candy canes on the top of it. A little bit smaller, but if you want to use larger size wood shapes, then grab a larger mason jar. I'm just emptying some of the confetti into the mason jar to give it some color and laying out the gingerbread men. And we're just going to use a regular thin or fine lined Sharpie marker to write on different items that we want to do this holiday season. And some examples would be watch a Christmas movie, bake Christmas cookies, write Christmas cards, sing Christmas carols. So whatever is the most fun for you and your family, you can add them to your gingerbread men and then just pop them into your mason jar, put the lid on so it all stays nice and contained. We definitely don't want this confetti all over the place. But then you can just pull out a gingerbread man one at a time and whatever is on the gingerbread man is the fun activity that you get to do as a family that day. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite Christmas activity that you like to do or you and your family like to do together. Definitely ours is to watch Christmas movies together, get nice and cozy, grab some hot cocoa, and watch a fun family-friendly Christmas movie. But let me know what your favorite activity is down in the comments below. Now you're going to run to Dollar Tree, grab these glass votive candles. They are the perfect size to sit right on top of these mason jars. This is a regular pint-sized one, and you can fill your mason jar with whatever you want. I thought these fun jingle bells from Dollar Tree would be the perfect easy filler, and they're metal, so I wasn't worried about them catching fire or anything, even though I don't think the candle's going to burn through the glass. We always want to keep safety in mind, so throw some of those in there, and then just simply take your votive candle and sit it right on top of your mason mason jar. Then you can decorate it up with whatever you want. If you want to add a bow, I just added a little bit of baker's twine around the top, tied a simple bow, and that was it. This literally takes about five minutes tops. You can light your candle and enjoy it. Make several of these to be so pretty lined up end to end on a dining room table on a mantle to give you that Christmas cozy glow during the evening time. What if you're doing all these mason jar crafts and you have extra lids left over? Don't throw those away. You can craft with them too. We're going to make some snowman ornaments out of these. I also have a free printable for you. I will have it linked down in the description box below. So you want to head down there, click that link, download the sheet music for this project, or you can use it for whatever project that you want. But it is Let It Snow sheet music, which I thought was perfect for creating these snowman ornaments. We're taking the inside of the lid and just tracing that on to the sheet music. I like to pick some of the lyrics that are fun so you see those once we're finished. Just trace around them, cut them out, and then we have circles for our snowman faces. To draw on the faces, I'm using simple black sharpie marker to make little dots for his eyes and his mouth and then an orange marker to make his nose. And then I always suggest using a tape runner for paper projects because then your paper won't wrinkle. I'll make sure to link mine down in the description box below for you once you get those on the lids. Put a little hot glue on the inside of the ring of the lid and attach those onto your snowman faces. To make the earmuffs for our snowman, we're going to take two pipe cleaners in two different colors and twist them together. Then kind of scale them down, see how big or small you want them, and trim it down to size. Use a little bit of hot glue on each side of your mason jar lid and put the ends into the glue to cover up the ends and, of course, make those pom-poms for our uh, earmuffs. Just take some smaller pom-poms and glue those onto the ends. You can do the same thing with the other one, just different colors to give a variation. This is a fun project to do with kiddos. Obviously, just make sure to... Uh, supervise using hot glue, but super easy, fun, and a cute, cute project. I was so glad to see the wooden nativity pieces back at Dollar Tree again this year. I've used them for a couple different projects in the past, but this time we are going to make a mason jar nativity. 
just using the pint sized one for this one and also grab some of this raffia from the crafters square. So I had to do a little bit of work to get this to come together. So I started off by taking the raffia and just wrapping it around my hand, cutting it down and then stuffing it into the jar. But I later take it back out and you'll see why in just a little bit. But let's start making our little nativity set. We are going to be using the base piece, but we're going to have to cut that down and very respectfully here. We're also going to cut the uh, little tabs off the bottom of Mary and Joseph, but baby Jesus went right into the center of our board, which we're now going to cut down. So take a pencil, kind of mark where the inside edge of your jar is and use that as a guide to then go in with your 10 snips and cut the board piece so it will then fit down inside the top of the lid. Now here's where we're going to take that raffia out because we are going to use one of the Dollar Tree wooden blocks to glue onto the bottom of that wooden piece so we can raise up this nativity and put that raffia around it. So just taking some hot glue, put it on the wood block and put the wood base on top. Put some more hot glue on the bottom of your block and glue that to the bottom of your mason jar. Then I just use the paintbrush to kind of tuck that raffia around it and cover up the block. So here is our close up look of it, but now we need to add our Mary and Joseph. So very similar to the Christmas trees that we made earlier for the snowy scene, just added some hot glue to the bottom edge and then kind of angled them towards baby Jesus. So that way I could then add a tea light to the backside there to illuminate it. Add the lid back on and you have a really quick and easy nativity scene and it's easy to remove the lid, turn the light on and off or the candle on and off. Very, very cute, pretty, and simple. I love that you can also get mason jar mugs at the Dollar Tree because they make for the cutest little Christmas mugs during the holidays. If you have a Cricut machine, you can head over to my Cricut profile, which is the Daily DIYer, and I have this file ready to go for you. You can actually go in there and edit the name so you can change the name out. I'm just cutting it in two different colors, red and green, so we can layer this onto the mug. So just cut it with your Cricut machine with Everyday Vinyl, and then once you have it weeded out, go ahead and apply this onto your Dollar Tree coffee mug or mason jar mug and we're going to put the red on first and then the green just adds a little bit more color and festiveness on top of the red little wreathing at the bottom how cute and fun is this my own cup of christmas cheer i love that you could personalize this it would make the cutest little gift idea you could add some hot cocoa packets in there candy canes little gift card and change out the name so it matches the person that you're gonna give it to, or you can make your own. I would love to know down in the comments below, what would you put in your cup of Christmas cheer though? Definitely mine would be hot chocolate, and don't forget lots of marshmallows. Speaking of hot chocolate, you can even use mason jars for your very own hot cocoa bar. So a lot of these items are from Dollar Tree. Grab out mason jars and fill them up with all the items that you would want to add to your hot cocoa, including marshmallows, some chocolate chips. You can put your uh, powder for your hot cocoa in there and even some fun straws or spoons. I had a little tray that I made with a Dollar Tree pie pan, so that was a cute way to display it. But you can put these in your kitchen during your Christmas movie watching night and just let everyone make their own hot cocoa. So similar to our snowman ornaments, let's make a mason jar gift idea. Using a pint sized mason jar, just filling it up with some peppermint candies. And then on the front of the glass, using a paint pen to make some big black polka dots for some buttons. And then we're gonna add some red and white string onto the top of the lid to make the earmuffs, similar to the snowman ornaments we made earlier, just hot gluing them down one on each side and then adding some big pom-poms over those for the earmuffs. We're gonna add a little bit more detail, adding some little dots with some paint and a fine paintbrush, adding the little holes to the buttons on the front of the mason jar. This is such an easy and quick gift idea. You could fill this up with your recipient's favorite treats, but I love the red and white. It definitely gives you all that Christmas vibe and feel. 
If you like to surprise friends and family with flowers at Christmas time, this is the greatest little vase. Turning a mason jar into a Santa Claus vase using some grow grain black ribbon wrapped around the center of the mason jar and hot glued into place. We're gonna make the Santa belt with some felt here, just using some gray to make a square and then cutting the inside of the square out and then attaching that onto the front of the ribbon with some hot glue. This was really simple and quick to make. Once we have the belt on there, all you have to do is add some water and your fresh flowers. If you didn't want to do fresh flowers, you could also do faux flowers, which you can also find at Dollar Tree as well. I know there are still plenty of you out there that love the red truck theme at Christmas time, and this will be a fun item to add to your shelf. We're gonna take a regular mason jar, pint-sized, and add a red truck to the inside of this. This is from Dollar Tree. I found it in the fairy garden section at springtime, so keep your eyes out so that you can grab some early in the season and then save them because I've put pumpkins in them for fall. And as you can see here, I'm adding a teeny tiny mini bottle brush Christmas tree onto the back of the truck for Christmas time. We're gonna add some Epsom salt into the jar, put the lid on and then grab out these little mini wood blocks that are from the crafter square and use those as little feet to our jar, hot gluing them on there so that our jar doesn't just roll off on us. Now we're gonna make sort of a snow globe style mason jar. And we're gonna start with a wood round plaque. I found these at Hobby Lobby in a pack of four and they were like around three or $4. So only about a dollar per plaque, really great price. We're taking that wood plaque and we are just painting it white and that's gonna be the base of our mason jar. We're gonna use those tiny mini wood blocks and use them as risers for some mini uh, village people <laughs> that you can get at Dollar Tree. Put a little bit of Epsom salt in your jar, put the lid on, shake Take it down and then use some hot glue to attach your mason jar onto that wood plaque. So definitely get creative with this idea. You can add all kinds of different things to these snow globe style jars like bottle brush trees, uh, different animals and ornaments in there. This one was just completely simple, super cute and easy to make. This gift idea couldn't be easier. You wanna grab two packs of these chocolate chip cookie mixes from Dollar Tree, add some chocolate chips on top. Of course, you wanna make sure you wash your jar before you add them in there. And then dress up your jar with some ribbon and then just take a regular Sharpie marker and add the ingredients that need to go in there and the directions for the batch of cookies that needs to be baked onto the front. Quick and easy gift idea and also a yummy one. This is one of my absolute favorite mason jar ideas because it turns out so pretty. We're taking some regular contact paper and using a cookie cutter as a shape for us to then outline onto the contact paper. Take your scissors and cut it out. If you have a Cricut machine, you can also do this with removable vinyl, that works too. And this is just an easy way to get a, basically a sticker that we're gonna stick on the front of our mason jar. And then we're gonna paint it with some light gray paint. 
paint. You can also do white paint if you want or whatever color is your Christmas time theme and decor. But you just want to take the backing off your sticker, center it on your mason jar and press it down. Make sure to get all the air bubbles out. Now the best way to paint over a sticker like this is to start in the middle of the sticker and work your way outside. That way you're not wrinkling up your sticker and getting any paint underneath it. So work from your inside of your sticker out. Let this first coat of paint dry all the way. Come in, do a second coat, and then you can remove your sticker. I love watching this. It is so satisfying removing the sticker to see your clean lines and your really pretty Christmas tree that is now on the front of your jar. Next, we're gonna take some water and we're gonna fill the jar with water up to about halfway up the window of your Christmas tree and then use a floating candle, plop that right down in the water, light it, and you'll be able to see the glow of the candle in that window of your mason jar. You can use a battery powered tea light in place of the floating candle if you want, but I really love the way the floating candle kind of bounces off the water and creates a really pretty luminary within this mason jar. Here's another beautiful way to decorate your mason jars for winter time. Take some Mod Podge, put a generous amount on the outside of your mason jar all the way around. Put some Epsom salt from Dollar Tree in a plate or a bowl bigger than your mason jar and just rub your mason jar into it and also lay some in it, pat it down, make sure it all gets in there, tap any excess off and then let this dry. I would say at least a good hour for your glue to dry all the way, but overnight is probably best. And as you'll see, as the uh, glue dries, it turns into a really frosty, icy look. Then you can dress up your mason jar however you want. Just add a little bit of greenery onto the front and some jute and some berries to really make it look Christmassy. This really makes for a beautiful set if you pair it with the uh, mason jar that we made in our last DIY. So pretty together, especially once you add the candle to the inside that just lights it up and it glistens and glows and gives you that wintry feel. If you didn't know, I have another YouTube channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage. I will link it down below for you. If you're looking for all things Christmas, you definitely wanna head over there and subscribe to that channel as there are so many more Christmas ideas you don't wanna miss. For this project, we found a big jar at Dollar Tree and we're just painting the entire thing white and using some ribbon also from Dollar Tree to decorate up the center. So just hot gluing that around a larger three or four inch size works great for this. Once we get that glued on there, this becomes the perfect little vase for Christmas trees. So a little mini Christmas tree or a sprig of greenery put in there turns into a quick and easy decor piece. Again, another one that you can make multiples of or make two of to flink a fireplace or a hearth or a dining room table. So if you love buffalo check or plaid for your Christmas decor, this is a fun technique to add to not just mason jars, but obviously with a mason jar theme, I wanted to show it on a mason jar. So once you get your base color on, in this case white, we're gonna take another color, in this case gray, and we're gonna make vertical stripes from the top to the bottom. Now, if you wanna get really precise, use painter's tape, but if you like that rustic look, you can freehand it and it'll still look great in the end. So now that we have our vertical stripes, we're gonna come in and do horizontal stripes or basically lines that are gonna go all the way around the middle of our mason jar in a couple different layers. Do, 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 do. 
Now here's what is really going to make the magic happen. You can see where these lines intersect. We kind of get this square shape forming. So if you come in with a more detailed paintbrush and some black paint and paint in that square, you'll see that buffalo plaid pattern starting to appear. So here is that buffalo plaid mason jar finished. It turns out so pretty. I love it for that rustic farmhousey feel. But like I said earlier, you don't have to necessarily just do this technique on mason jars. Get creative. You can do this on wood signs or ornaments, wherever you need that touch or splash of buffalo plaid in your Christmas decor. So here is another great gift idea. Fill the inside of a mason jar with some red candies. I used some Twizzlers for this one. And similar to our vase, we're gonna make a little Santa belt, but this time we're gonna use some ribbon. So some black grain ribbon and a little bit of gold for the belts. Buckle of our Santa Claus wrapped around the middle makes a quick and easy gift idea. One that doesn't take very long and it's also very, very budget friendly. You can also do this in a snowman theme. Fill it up with some white goodies, in this case, some fudge covered pretzels. We're gonna turn this into a snowman using some ribbon. We're gonna tie that around the top of the mason jar to make a scarf. Then I'm coming in with a round spouncer and just adding some round buttons to the front of this mason jar with some black paint. You could also use a paint pen if you want, or you can also use vinyl if you'd like to go that route too. Just give them a few buttons on the front to really give that snowman look. This is a cute little gift idea, super easy, and you can give them together as a set or give them individually. It would be also a great hostess gift idea to give or a cute way to display some candies on a coffee bar, hot cocoa bar, or for your family's movie night. So I have a video filled with 25 different gifts in a jar ideas that I will share at the end of this video. These are just a few of my favorites I want to share with you in this mason jar video. And you can actually find pancake mix at Dollar Tree. So I'm just adding some of that to the inside of this mason jar. It helps that they have little measurements on the side of the jar so you don't have to get your measuring cup out. You just kind of dump in the amount that you need. We're gonna dress it up with some fabric here, just cutting out a square. And we are gonna use a rubber band to attach this to the top of the jar. Tomorrow. So you can add some ribbon or some twine to dress up the top of the jar. And then don't forget to add the directions on how to prepare the pancakes uh, to your jar. I'm just making a little tag here with some uh, cardstock, popping a hole in it with a hole punch and then adding it to the twine at the top. Quick, easy gift idea and another yummy one. So here's another cookie gift idea in a jar, just a little bit different. We're gonna take that same package of chocolate chip cookie mix that you can get from Dollar Tree and we're gonna put it into a mason jar. The entire package will fit into a pint sized one, which is nice. But this time we're actually going to cut out the directions on the package and we're gonna attach it onto the lid. So as you can see, I put the lid on first and then we're gonna take that cut out instructions and fold it in half and put it on top of the lid and then put the ring on top of that and that will hold the directions in place for us. Pretty neat, right? And then you could, of course, dress up your jar however you want. I'm adding some hot glue and some ribbon to the top of this. And I'll also be adding a little cookie cutter to the front as well, just tied on as an extra little gift to give with this cookie mix. In a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Christmas, the first for you and me. 
You can use the same idea with their fudge brownie mixes. Same thing, you're just gonna dump the whole bag into a mason jar, cut out the directions on the package, fold them in half, and then put them onto the top of the lid. Twist it on there, decorate up your jar, add a little cookie cutter to it, and it's ready to go. Thank you again to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Check out that game. I'll have that QR popping up for you and definitely check out the description box for the link. Download it, have fun playing it. If you're looking for more mason jar gift ideas, I will have that video popping up on your screen. You can head over and watch next. I wanna thank you all so, so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.